All right, great, great job on that drill. Now we're going to go into a, a one-arm drill. Uh, one arm is one of my favorite drills. Specifically, what we're going to work here is three right, three left, into three full cycles. Okay? Some of the things I want you to make sure that you stay focused on. When we do one arm for a butterfly, I want the opposite arm up front. That helps us maintain a little stability, make sure that we stay on your stomach. I don't want you to do the one arm being on your side and just letting it come over here like a freestyle stroke. You're trying to mimic that butterfly as closely as you can. So we're out front. My left arm's out front. My right arm's gonna come straight over the water with my recovery, get back into it, have that same undulation, that same dolphin motion we want, and just have that one arm go through the stroke. And then once you hit that three, you just switch arms. Once you've done both, you get into that full stroke cycle, okay? One of the reasons I like this is I can take this drill into a warm-up, and I can tell how efficient I am when I was a swimmer, and then when I go and start coaching the top-end athletes, I want them to understand where their stroke is, especially in a warm-up before practice or a meet. This will tell you, without having to do straight butterfly, how much it takes you to get to the other side. So if you're really good and really on it, it'll probably take you three right, three left, and maybe a stroke, a full stroke cycle, and you'll hit the wall. Okay? Some, of, some of you, if you're not quite as strong or it's not quite as connected, it'll take a few more strokes. But that should stay consistent from day to day. If it's not, then you know something's off a little bit in your stroke and you can tweak it a little bit. All right, so we use this drill a lot to mimic that dolphin motion, get into that butterfly stroke without actually having to go full stroke the whole way. When I do this, I really like when they get a consistent rhythm to it. So a certain number of kicks they'll use underwater, get into the three right, the three left, and then get into full stroke however long it's going to take them to get to that wall. If they do this correctly and they stay consistent on those number of underwaters, they can start to see how efficient they are on a day. If they're dropping their elbows, if they're not feeling as, as strong and not connecting that power as much, they're going to take a few more strokes uh, to get through that cycle, to get through a full 25, or to get through 50 meters to go through two cycles. All right, that looked really good. Uh, same idea, stay consistent on the number of underwater kicks that you take, and let's see if we can cut down a stroke going forward. Nice and powerful, good motion. Don't pause on the stroke. Have it be as, as uh, continuous as you can, nice and long and strong. But let's see if we can cut down a stroke just being nice and strong and powerful on it. Okay? All right, Danny, ready? So I've asked them this time to see if they can create a little bit more power, get into that rhythm, and try to get a little farther down the pool as they go through that full cycle. Nice and smooth, get into that stroke, and he made it without a full stroke on that one, being just a little bit more efficient on each one of those poles. So as I mentioned earlier, I like that arm in front just to keep a little bit more stability, allow them to stay a little bit more flat on the water and really practice a butterfly recovery versus a freestyle recovery as they come through. All right, I've asked Danny to come up a little bit earlier here so we can see that transition from one arm, nice and seamless, three strokes, and then you get straight into that other arm. So that timing and rhythm of the stroke stays the same, and then straight into those two arm strokes, full stroke, sending it all forward. Good. As they go through, if you see somebody that has tendency to drop their elbow or, or slip through that pole, this is where, on that single arm especially, I have the swimmers look at their arm, see what their elbow are, elbows are doing, and see what that stroke is doing so they can adjust it a little bit easier.